sitting comfortably with the knees out or as you can and just let the hands settle maybe the finger and the thumb connect and we take a moment just to become aware of our breath and our being So just breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. Just feel that evenly paced breath. You can breathe in for a count of three and then out for a count of three. And with your next in-breath, lift the arms and reach up. Take a look up, press into the hands and breathe out as your hands fall through the heart centre. And then again, deep breath in, lengthening up through the spine, lifting the chest, pressing into the palms and exhale, gently bring the hands down. Two more, just fill your lungs with your breath. And then one more. Good. Then just take a little rotation as your right hand goes to the left leg. Turn and look over the shoulder. And then go the other way. So use your breath to take you across. And then here we inhale and lift the chest, look back. Come in across again. One more each side. Then we can take the hands around the knees, just allow the hands to cup around the knees, tuck the tail, tuck the chin, and just round into your back. And then inhale, lift the chest and lengthen up. So exhale, tuck the tail, tuck the chin, rounding through to mobilize the spine. Inhale, lengthen up and lift the chest. Two more. Gently drawing into the center. And then here, take your left hand to the side and reach over, open through the side body. Take a knee on the other way. Inhale, open the side body. Hold for a couple of breaths. And then switch. One more time. Then here, let's come into all fours with your hands under the shoulders and your knees under the hips. Come into cat cow. So draw the tummy in tight, tuck the tail, arch your back up towards the ceiling, look back into your thighs. Then take the tail out, lengthen your spine, inhale, let the chest slide forwards. Exhale, tuck the tail, arching up, tuck the chin, look back. Inhale, take the tail out and lengthen the spine. Let the chest shine through. Two more. Just moving through each breath. And then here, sit back into the heels. Just come into the, the pose of the child, let the arms reach, the chest come down, feel length in your spine and settle in as we hold for five breaths. Now 
Noticing that easy breath. And with your next in breath, bring your body weight forward onto your hands and knees. Then breathe out, bend the elbows and lower down. Breathe in, draw up through the chest, squeeze the bottom, extend through the spine. Breathe out, push onto the knees and sit back. So we'll do that again. Inhale, glide forward onto your hands. Exhale, bend the elbows and lower down. Inhale, draw up, roll the shoulders back. Exhale, push back. Yeah, just work with that warming through the upper body. Squeezing your bottom, drawing your tummy in. So let's do two more. Moving with your breath. So exhale to lower, inhale to draw up, exhale to push back. One more time. Inhale, come forwards. Breathe out, lower down. Inhale, draw up. Exhale, push back and hold again to the pose of the child. Five breaths. From here, we then going to push back into a downward facing dog, holding it there. <laughs> Coming into your foot pedals, just to ease through the back of the legs. Allowing one heel to lower and then the other. And then press both heels into the mat or towards it. Let your chest melt through your shoulders, look into your thighs, suck in your chin. Hold here for three more breaths. And then when you're ready, bend the knees. Walk your feet forward to fold and take a deep breath in, roll up and rise, reach up and hold a back bend. Pressing the hips forward, squeeze your bottom and then take hold of your right wrist and come across for a side bend. Come back to centre and the other side, take the left wrist. back to centre. Then breathe out, fold over, we come through our sun salutations. Inhale, bring your hands to your shins, lengthen your spine. Exhale, soften down, bend the knees and take your right leg back to lunge. The other leg goes back into a downward facing dog and we look into the thighs. Hold for a couple more breaths. And as you inhale, glide forwards to high plank. Bending the knees and then the elbows to lower down. Take a breath in, draw up and roll the shoulders back, looking up. By the knees, the toes, lift the hips back into your downward facing dog. And with a bend of the knees, your right foot steps forward to lunge. The other foot comes into fold. And we take a breath in and rise, roll all the way up again. Reach up and hold. Little back bend, pushing the hips forward, squeezing the bottom and lifting your gaze. Then a side bend, take hold of the right wrist. Taking it to the other side as you breathe. Staying aware of your breath. Come back to centre and then breathe out, fold over your thighs. Let's go again. 
Inhale, bring the hands to the shins, pull that back, extend, shoulders and hips back. Exhale, soften down. Your left leg steps back. Take the other leg back, downward dog. Look into your thighs. And then glide forwards to higher plank. Here, you can keep the legs straight if you wish or lower the knees like before as we take our body down. And then draw up through the chest, roll the shoulders back, pull up the thighs into up dog. Tuck the toes, lift hips, downward dog. And then with a bend of both knees, your left foot steps in. The other foot follows to fold. And we take a breath in to rise, rolling up, lifting up. Hold it there, that bend. So keep the hips pushing forward, squeeze the bottom. Another little side bend, come across, holding on to the right wrist. And then the other way, holding on to the left wrist. Come back to centre. Breathe out, fold over. We go in again. This time a little smoother from one to the other. Bringing the hands to the shins. Exhale, soften down. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, the other leg back. Downward dog, hold for three breaths. On an in-breath, glide forward to high plank. Option to put the knees down or keep the legs straight as you lower down, chaturanga. Draw up through the chest, up dog. Pull up the thighs, squeeze the bottom, look up. Tuck toes, downward dog. Hold for three breaths. With a bend of the knees, the right foot steps in. The other foot follows to fold and take a breath in, roll up and rise. This time we're going to go straight back down to the other side. Exhale, fold over. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back, shoulders back, hips back. Exhale, soften down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Left leg steps back, lunge. The other leg steps back, down dog, high hips. Three breaths. With another in breath, we glide forward to high plank. We breathe out to lower down. Inhale, draw up, pull up to the thigh, squeeze the bottom. Tuck toes, lift hips, down dog. Three breaths. With an in-breath, with a knee bend, and the left foot steps in. The other foot comes in to fold. I take a deep breath in to rise. Reach up and hold, back bend. Pressing the hips forwards, squeezing the bottom, and looking up. Good, bring the arms out wide as you breathe out. So here, let's take our legs wide, come into our warrior positions. Your right foot turns out. We're gonna find warrior two, arms out wide. So just check, we can turn the knee out, still see your big toe. Draw the shoulders down and squeeze your bottom. Holding it there. With a little squeeze into the bottom, the hips remain open. And just breathe into it. And here, ease across, bring your forearm to the thigh and come into side angle pose or extended warrior two. Maybe we can get the right thigh a little deeper, parallel to the floor. Both feet press firmly, take a little rotation, a little turn of the waist as you look up. Maybe we can let the hand come down deeper. 
an option, of course. The hand maybe finds the floor or your forearm stays on the thigh. See how you go. Hold here for three more breaths. And with your next in breath, lift your right arm, stay in the legs, sun warrior, we rise. Hold there. Looking up, lifting your gaze. And then take a little release. From here, the legs are long. We come into triangle. So we're still on the same side, arms wide. Tip to your right and feel like you're lifting your left hip. Ease across and then down. If you need to bend the right knee, please do. We can turn our head to look up or down. Keeping the length in the body and the legs. You're staying strong as you push the feet firmly into the floor. Three more breaths. And then here, bending the knee and lift up again, Sun Warrior. Lifting your chest. Two more breaths. Release. Turning your right foot forward, your left foot out. Let's prepare to change sides. Warrior two, Vipadasana two. This knee turns out, you should see your big toe. Hips face forward, shoulders above the hips, arms out. Gently drop down a bit deeper if it's available, as if the tailbone is looking at the floor. And you tip to your left, bring the forearm to the thigh and extend side angle pose. Find length from the heel to the fingertip and hold. Staying aware of each breath as you hold. In through the nose, out through the nose. Come in. Bringing the hand down if it's available, stay where you are if you prefer. Keeping the chest up, accepting that length, but we stay with strength in the legs. Two more breaths. And with your next in breath, let's lift the arm, the left one, and look up. So, Maria, lifting your gaze. Lifting your chest. And we can straighten our legs. Take the arms out and tip to the left. Triangle. Trekanasana. Easing down, turning the waist. Looking up or down. Remember you can bend the left knee if you prefer. Just let your breath focus your mind and focus your body. Three more breaths. And then bending the knee, lifting up as you inhale, reach up, look up, soften your gaze and press your feet firmly to the floor. Three more breaths just here. Exhale, release. Turn your feet forward. Keep them long if you can. We're going to tip forward for a wide fold. Take the hips back. 
and bring the hands to the floor, lengthening the spine and the legs. If you need to, please bend the knees, see how you go. If you can, get your hands flat to the floor, but if it's not available, bend the knees to take you down there. Try and look through the legs. your left hand in the middle of the legs. Take your right hand to your lower back. Turn your waist and look up. So we get a little twist. You can leave your hand on your back or maybe lift it up. See how you feel. So finding a little twist here. A little bit of rotation in this fold. Holding for three more breaths. And your next out breath. Gently bring the hand down so we can change sides. Right hand on the floor in the middle, left hand to the middle back. Turn the waist. Keep the hand on your back if you wish or allow it to rise. Keeping the hips back, the shoulders back. Focusing on your breath as we work to hold for three more breaths. And then very gently bring the hands down. Bend the knees and bring the heels in, the toes in, so that your feet come in to about hip width. Then here, we're going to keep the knees bent, sit back into the hips, sink down into the legs, into chair pose. So it's just like a little squat, really. Lift the arms, lift the chest, tuck the tail a little bit, draw the belly button in, protect the lower back, and hold. So your knees are in line with your toes, the chest is up. Good. And from here, we're going to stand taller and look up, back bent. Then bring your hands down to the center. Let your hands settle at the center. We come into tree pose. So bring your left foot to the inside of your right leg, just where you can. Squeeze your right buttock. Balance. Pull up through the thigh muscle. Breathe. As you breathe in, just let the arms come up and out. Draw the shoulder blades down your back. Hold it steady. Keep the belly button to the spine. Good. And let the arms go wide. Draw the shoulder blades in a little behind. Focus on your breath. Breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. Can you take your left hand under the left thigh, lift the leg out a little, fold. Good. Continue to focus on your breath. Be aware of your balance, your position and your breath. Focus on your body. Just settle into your body. And can you turn your head to look down your right hand? Three more breaths. And as you exhale, release. Let's prepare for the other side. So here, the right foot comes to the inside of the left. Tree pose. Bring the hands just to the center. Settle. Breathe. Find your place. Good. Squeeze your left buttock. Draw in through the center, standing tall, high in the hips, chest lifted. Let the arms come up and out slightly. And hold. So focus on something ahead of you. 
something that isn't going to move. Try to let your breath settle you in through the nose, out through the nose. And allow the arms to come wider, like a T-shape, capital T. Draw the shoulder blades in behind. Focus on your breath, your being and your position. Be aware of the space that you're in. To stay with that easy yogic breath. That evenly paced breath. As we can turn our head to look down, the left arm. Three more breaths. And then step down, take a deep breath in, lift the arms. And then breathe out, fold over, come down. And then step back into downward dog. This time. Lift up your right leg into three-legged dog. Bend the knee up there and point your toes to the opposite shoulder to open the hip up there. Hold it here. Four more breaths. And then on your next in-breath, bring that top knee forward, your body weight forward, in between your hands with your knee, settle into pigeon pose. Adjust the foot if you need to, square off the hips if you can, and as you exhale, melt down into the mat. Move into it and come forward and down with your chest. Just go to your range of movement and hold. Settling here just with three more breaths. And then bringing your hands back in, lift your chest, tuck the toes in the back, and then push back again into a downward dog. High hips, long legs, and look into your thighs. Up here. Your left leg lifts now, three-legged dog. Then bending your knee, point your toes towards the opposite foot. Open the hip at the top there already. And on your next in-breath, bring that top knee forwards in between your hands. Come into your pigeon pose here on the other side. Again, adjust the leg if you need to. Square off the hips as you can. It's like your back hip is coming towards your front heel. On an out breath, we ease into the mat, melting down, extend into it. Come on down and hold. Just holding here with three more breaths. And then very slowly bringing your hand back in, lift the chest. Turning your legs towards the front, bending your knees and here, and just let your legs go side to side. Just moving from the hips just to release. And when your legs go to the right side, next time we'll leave them there. And with the right hand on the floor, we're gonna lift up through the hips into this hip spiral 
left. Pushing the hips forward, squeezing the bottom. Focusing on your breath again. Three more breaths. With your next out breath, gently lower. Taking your knees to the other side, prepare for the other side. Left hand on the floor, lift up through your hips, open up through the front of your right hip, squeeze your bottom and look up. Three more breaths. And then gently come back down. Good. From here in a seated position, taking your legs out in front of you, bring your left foot over the other leg. Hug the knee in and your other hand comes behind you like a second spine to lift you up. We'll take a little look back. So we can stay here or if it's available, can you take hold of the front foot, the left one, and lengthen that leg. Keep your chest up and maybe we can allow the arm to float back also. If it's a bit wobbly with the arm off the floor back there, put it back down. Keep the chest up, the spine long. If you can, look down the back hand. Very gently release. Change sides. So take the other leg over. Hug the knee in. Take a little look back first of all. Remember you can stay here, this is fine. Come back here if you wish. Or we extend the front leg. Good. So you're right one this time. Maybe the arm draws back. Wherever you are, keep the spine long and continue to breathe. In through the nose, out through the nose. Our evenly paced breath, giving us focus. And then gently release. Taking both legs out in front of you here. Take a breath in, lift up. And then a breath out takes us forward to fold. Just go where you can. Soften down into it. Chest towards your thighs. Take it to your range. Use your breath to hold you here. Keeping your breath smooth, fluid and easy. Just a couple more breaths. And then slowly walking the hands back in with the legs staying straight. Point your toes down with the hands behind you. Lift your chest and roll your shoulders back. Good. So we can stay here if you're happy here. Or maybe there's a bit more if you lift your hips off the floor. Remember you can stay down if you prefer. Keep squeezing the bottom to hold you up. Four breaths. And on the out breath, we gently lower. Lift up, lengthen. Exhale, tip forward and fold again. Go where you can here. Soften down into it. Take your time. Settle in. Chest towards your thighs. Remember, take a knee bend if you prefer. So just a few more breaths now. And then very slowly walk the hands back again. So your fingertips are just behind the hips. 
You can roll the shoulders back, lift the chest, tuck the chin, point the toes towards the floor, and then inhale to rise, open and lift. Continue to breathe as you hold. Four more breaths. Exhale, gently come down and then bending your knees. From here, we're just gonna tuck the tail, ease our way down into the mat, bring the knees to the chest and circle your knees away from each other and around. So find mobility in the lower back and the hips. And then the next time you'll come in with the knees and wide, hold them there, lift your feet and can you take hold of the feet for happy babies. So as the feet are looking at the ceiling, maybe we can gently walk side to side, nourishing the spine, massaging into the mat. The tail down, the chin tucked, we still appreciate the length of the spine even in this position. From here, slowly place one foot down and then the other. With the arms out wide, allow the knees to drop to your left and take the top leg over the bottom leg, take a look back and hold. Keeping the shoulder blades on the floor. And then slowly put the legs to the other side. Just a little release there. We get there and the top leg extends. And then from here, bringing your legs back into the center. Let's find a place to settle. Just another rose, a corpse pose. Let the arms and legs relax. You may lengthen your legs down the mat. We just take a few moments here to appreciate the space we have, both physically and mentally. Close your eyes if you haven't already. Allow your face to soften. Become aware of each part of your body that's in touch with the mat. Give yourself some time, some space to breathe. Stay aware of that breath. Feel it move in through the nose, out through the nose. your body some space, your mind some space. Just allow some quiet time to set you up for the day. Here, five more breaths. From here, really slowly. Just bring one knee to the chest and then the other. 
gently rock in and out, or even side to side if you prefer. Placing your feet on the floor, allow your knees to fall to one side. We can then roll over to use our hands to bring ourselves up into a seated position. Find a place that feels comfortable for you right now. Let your arms just settle across your legs. Keep your eyes closed if you wish. Just breathe easily, evenly. Just take a little side stretch. With your left hand to the floor, reach over. And then take your right arm to the side and go the other way. Good, from here, take a deep breath in, lift the arms up. Press into your palms, allow your hands to fall through the center. We settle at the heart center. Just a couple of breaths. And we can just take a little nod, a little bow. Just to give thanks for our practice today. Thank you very much indeed.